Greetings. Welcome to Learn iPhoto 11, a video training app from the MacU.com. In this quick introduction, I'm going to show you how this app works and some of the main features. The first area I want to concentrate on is the sidebar to the left of the main video. The sidebar is split vertically into two sections. At the top is the full list of lessons in this course. To play a lesson, just click on it and the video will begin. To pause the video, you can use the button in the control bar at the bottom of the window, or just hit the space bar. To go to the next or previous lesson, click on the corresponding buttons in the control bar, or use command right arrow for next lesson, or command left arrow for previous. To move through the video that is currently playing, drag the video slider here. On the right is a volume slider. Now back to the sidebar. The lower half contains a shortcuts pane and a notes pane. The shortcuts pane simply displays the keyboard shortcuts that are available for the currently selected lesson. A key input is listed and the corresponding action. The notes pane allows you to jot down thoughts or tips that you want to remember from each lesson. So for the import from camera lesson, I might write, uncheck split events when importing. That note is automatically saved when I move to the next lesson. So I can take notes for as many or as few lessons as I want. Rather than having to go back through each video to find the notes I have taken, we provided a way to print out all the notes you have taken at once. Just click this print icon here, or go to File, Print Notes in PDF. All the notes you have taken are put together in a document that can be printed or saved as a PDF from the following print dialog. As you view each lesson entirely, a watched icon will appear next to that lesson in the lesson list. This is there just to let you know that you have watched this lesson. To reset the watched lessons icons, just click this button to the left of the shortcuts pane. Confirm and all the watched video icons are removed. Finally, if you would like to see more of the lesson list or say more of your notes, you can drag this divider up or down. With that, you should be ready to begin viewing the lessons, learning the keyboard shortcuts, and taking your own notes. Thanks again for choosing our app to learn iPhoto 11 and enjoy.